Hey, what's up my Leafs? It's Shane here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a model of yourself on Roblox. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open up our Roblox studio. So I'm going to go to the Roblox studio icon and I'm going to double click it to open it. All right, and then we'll show uh, for me it shows the auto save recovery because I make a few projects. So I'm just going to X out of this if you see that. Uh, now you should see new project, games, my projects. It should already take you here. Just click and open up a base plate. Alright, so now that you have a base plate open, we need to get a model of yourself. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to the test tab. So up on the top of your program of Roblox Studio, you'll see home model terrain and then you'll see test you want to click on test okay then you want to go over to this icon you'll see a roblox model guy and then it will say play just click on the roblox model guy all right now we've entered a test game mode in the roblox studio this is where we will get our model. As you can see, this is my Roblox character. Now what I want to do is I want to have Explorer open. So if you do not see Explorer, or you do not see properties open right now, you're going to want to go into view. And then you can toggle them, which means that you can turn them on and off. So if I don't want to see properties anymore, I'll just click on the tab. And if I do want to see them again, I'll click it back and then that's how you toggle the properties. If you don't see the Explorer, then just click on Explorer and then it will come right back. Okay, now that we understand that, we're gonna go and we're gonna click on the little arrow, arrow next to Workspace. Then you're gonna see your player right here. Should be a player model. You're gonna click on the little arrow uh, next to your player. Then you're going to see some content inside of the model. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select all of the content inside of it by left click clicking and dragging. Once you have it all selected, right click one of the parts or pieces of the model. Then click on copy. Now we have the, uh, the copied model. So now we're going to get out of test by going to the test tab again and then clicking stop. Once we've done that, we need to copy it into our base plate. So we need to have Explorer open, which I already showed you how to do. You're going to click on the little arrow on the workspace. And then you're going to right click workspace. And then we're going to say paste into. There's me. I'm going to want to go to model, okay, and then I'm going to want to go to group. Okay, so what, what we just did was we created a model of ourself and now it is in Roblox Studio, right? But the next thing we want to do is we want to name ourselves what our character is. So I'm going to name myself Inyaz7 because that's my username on Roblox. All right. And there's our model that we created in Studio. If you would like to publish the model to Roblox, I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to go to File. You're going to go to Publish Selection As. And as you can see, I already published the model. But you're going to want to go to Create New. I'm going to click on Create New. And then you're going to type in the name of your model, so whatever you want whatever the title is. So obviously I called mine in Yaz 7. And then for the description, I put this is me. Something like that. You can put whatever you want though. And then you want to select a genre. Genre. And then you want to click finish. Okay. And then obviously I'm going to click cancel because I already have the model of myself. Once you do that though, you will find the model on Roblox. 
by going off of Roblox Studio. So I'm just going to minimize this. I'm going to go to Google Chrome, double click it. I'm going to go and I'm going to type in roblox.com. Going to hit enter. I'm already into uh, or I'm already logged into Roblox, obviously. So then I'm going to go into the develop tab, as you can see right here. Make sure that you guys are logged in if you want to publish your model to Roblox. If you don't, then you don't have to log in. You can just save it to your computer. All right, so I'm going to click on develop. And then I'm going to click on my models right here. Then as you can see, in Yaza 7 has been created. And now if I go to my model, there, this is me as a model. There I go, right there, gold dominus, gold chain some wings and the leaf shirt then let's see if anybody left me any comments nope so i'm just a loner right now but maybe somebody will leave me a comment after i just showed you guys how to create your own so i'm going to go back into roblox studio and then uh the last thing i want to show you is how to actually add this model after publishing it so obviously hopefully your model is not always a free model you don't want people to take it all the time um, but if it is, it doesn't really matter because it is your character. So it's not like somebody couldn't already get that. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have toolbox open. We're going to go into view again. And then this is how you toggle toolbox. You just click it. Okay, so make sure that's open. Then you're going to want to click this tab and then go to my models. And then you'll see that the Inyaha 7 model is right there. You're gonna click on it if you want it to come into studio. Then there you go. You have two of the Inyaha 7 models inside of the game. And that's it. That's all you have to do to get your character inside of the Roblox studio. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if this helped you out. And I'll see you guys next time.